Hi, everybody. Today, I just wanted to rant about the Americanization of Star Stable Online. So, like, I'm going to try to explain this the best I possibly can because I know for a fact people are going to be offended or, like, get upset or whatever. Honestly, it's not that deep. Like, I don't understand why we ever really get upset at this stuff anymore because it, it doesn't matter. Like, literally just have fun and move on. But basically, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because I just thought it was slightly annoying. Anyway... Star Stable Online is a Swedish horse game, in case you didn't know, and although it's magical, it's, like, originally very realistic, like, it's a very normal-looking world, I mean, at least it used to be. You know, it has towns and cities and whatever. There are some magical things in the game, like rune stones, you know, which is how Sweden in real life looks like because of the old history and the mythology. However, as you play the game, you discover the magic all over Jorvik and get pulled into it and realize that the myths are, like, actually reality in the game and that something magical is happening that defies logic and, like, it's really, really cool, right? Because it's, like, you're playing this realistic horse game that turns out to be, like, an adventure, magical type of stuff. That's how it used to feel for me, at least. But nowadays, it just feels like it's all over and it's, like, all, like, I guess, like, too much. Like, we have horses that are magic, even if you are in towns and cities. Years ago, horses that were magical only showed their magic coat if they were in the forest, right? Because it's like, you only see the magic in the forest. You're not going to see that, like, public in the town, you know what I mean? For a while, I liked that we had a choice, but now it just, like, ruins the immersion because, like... On top of that, the storylines got ruined, and a lot of stuff became non-canon anymore, and then SSO decides to just Americanize things, right? So, my point, though, is that Star Stable used to always feel like a very, like, original Swedish horse game with, like, mythology in it, right? But now it's like, Steve's Farm is a typical American barn, Firgrove and the Starshine Ranch, it's like a Western event, whatever. And, like, it just seems like the game is, like, American now. Which probably is to attract American players, and I'm okay with that. But there is English and Western in the game. Except what makes me mad is that Sarsip pretty much abandoned their culture and removed Midsummer. That's what made me mad. Because it's like, the game is a Swedish game. With like, Nordic, Celtic mythology, whatever, right? Really, really cool. And they are just like, what if we just removed Midsummer? which is a real holiday in real life that is celebrated in Sweden and also in some other parts of the world, right? And I love Midsummer, so when I logged on to Surf Stable this summer and then I saw there was no Midsummer event, but instead a Western event, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you're gonna remove Easter, Midsummer, what else did they remove? Oh my god, Valentine's Day. It just makes me mad because the games that I play, a lot of them, they just choose to like become American. And it's like, it feels like they're throwing away their roots just to cater to another country, you know? Like, I love the Swedish and Nordic and Celtic mythology in Star Stable, and now it just feels like everything is messy, not canon, and it's so American for no reason. Like, guys, it's okay to be yourself. Like, you don't have to, like, become another country or cater to different audiences. Like, you could still get that audience while being yourself, you know? It just no longer feels cozy. It just feels like any horse game now not everything has to be American. Like, I find it so weird how a lot of games, like, they just decide to throw away their originality and then just, like, become, like, any other American game or whatever, right? Like, it's just, like, so weird to me. Listen, you could have Western and English writing, but, like, it's just, I found, I found it really odd how, like, Steve's Farm is now, like, an American-looking barn, and then on top of that, Midsummer is gone, and it's replaced with a Western event. That's odd. By the way, I did like the wolves in Star Stable and how the forest actually kind of felt dangerous because of the wildlife, but I hate it how, like, if the wolf caught you, you'd be transported back to the Starshine Ranch. Like, I hate that place so much. Anyway, but then Star Stable did this cringe joke about Lana Del Rey, and I got offended because, like, what is this? Lana Del Hay. Leave her out of this, man. Like, I know Lana Del Rey has that, like, American core. But, like, it just feels like Star Stable, a Swedish horse game, is just, like, forcing itself to be American so hard. And it's like, you don't have to do that. Like, in case you didn't realize, a lot of people joined your game for the originality. Like, I just, I don't understand why they did this. Like, I do, but then I don't, because it's like, I know it's just business decisions and all that, but it's, like, annoyed.
I'm at this point where I don't even like care anymore, but I just had to mention this because it's like it's so exhausting when you buy games and you play them and they change them. They change them. Like because they just want to change the aesthetic. And I know it's because they have new developers and new CEO and all that, but it's like it's so stupid. Also, like Star Stable, like they want young players. We know this. Like obviously they're catering to like younger people. But it's weird when Star Stable references pop icons like Lana Del Rey because like a lot of players who are younger have no clue who she is. Like a lot of players don't even know what a One Direction is. <laughs> they don't even know like a lot about these things. So it's like I wouldn't be surprised if there was people who were like, who's Lana Del Rey? Like literally I didn't even really know anything about her until like the past few years. You know what I mean? So I just thought it was like crazy that Star Stable decided to like pull that like American stuff. It's just so strange. Because like the game Jorvik, like Star Stable, okay, like Jorvik is based off of Sweden. So it just feels so misplaced to have like American stuff in it. And like don't get me wrong, like there's probably American stuff all over the world at this point. But it's just like when you join a game, I feel like you appreciate the game, at least for me. You appreciate the game for, like, the, uh, the originality and the design and the aesthetics and everything, right? So it's just awful they changed everything. Like, you could have get- you could have- you could have removed any feature, any event, and you just- you decided to remove Midsummer. Really? Wow. And I guarantee you it was because there was American players who were like, I don't know what Midsummer is. That is not our problem. Like, it's so stupid. It's just annoying because it's like they remove everything that's fun. Right? So, um, yeah. Like, I really just don't care anymore, but I do care. I don't care, but I do. Because I'm still playing the game. Like, I only care because I have to talk about it. <laughs> like, if I quit the game, I wouldn't even speak about this stuff. But it's just, like, it's annoying because I still play. You know what I mean? That's why I'm kind of mad. Because, like, yeah.